Hi, I'm Gia. If we have so many goodies from Kika Goods, we've got shakers, BJBs, Kakoya, plushies, freebies. I'm so excited to just get right on into it and see what we've got. So we're going to start with the freebies. Now, Kika Goods offers a few different ways to get free stuff. Every now and then they do events, but they also have what they call Kika Good Points, where you can redeem points that you earn with purchases with getting free stuff. One of the free things that I got by redeeming my points was a free Kika Goods handmade keychain, which was 200 points to redeem what they price at $15.99 or $11.99 on sale keychain. I specified that I wanted purple, and we can see right here, they gave me purple. So this is a handmade keychain that they made with a previous figure series that they had. This is the Cat Bell Mao Ling Dang Series 2, the Kitty Series, and we have Ghost Kitty. Uh, now, this series was actually $18.99 out of the box, so just for that alone, this is a really good way to repurpose and get a really nice figure. And we can see that he's purple with little ghosts adorned all over his body. Oh, look at that. Uh, silver paws and the cutest little bow tie. And then on the side, we have a box cat, a kitten bell, two gray stars, the whole gray and purple theme, another purple bell, and this purple flower that matches my nail polish. So yeah, this was the free handmade keychain that I got by redeeming 200 of my Kika Goods points. On to the next freebie that I got for spending over $50 during their anniversary event, the Jinza Cozy Corner Miniature Charm Collection. This is a real place. It's a real cafe. And they give you a takeout box with one of their signature desserts. There is one of five. So we are going to find out which one I got. And we got lemon. Is this, is this a lemon cake? With a little chain, the takeout box. Ooh, it's pretty. Let's open her up and let her breathe. And I was wrong. This is not a lemon cake. This is what they call a chestnut cake. And the little ball chain just loops through the chestnut cake, not lemon cake. And then we have the Jinza Cozy Corner takeout box, which if I were to have looped it through the holes, would have covered it just like that. Last freebie. I got this from a raffle event that they were doing. I think it was two months ago. And it was essentially if you spent 100 of your Kika Good points, you could enter into a raffle that had 12 different levels. The most expensive one was a designer figure uh, that was over $100. The least expensive was like a postcard set. And I got the Secret Bear Garden badge by Shinu Finding Unicorn. And so on the back, we can see the garden list. I am a big fan of Secret Time and also the wildflower in the series. I, I also like the Safe Cracker. So these three would be my top choices. I don't want the Maze Garden or Hug Me. So hopefully I can avoid these two and get one of my top three. Let's find out which one we got. Ready? One, two, three. Yo, this is one of the hiddens, right? Hold on. This is one of the hiddens. After I like annihilated the box, look how much I destroyed that. Um, yeah, this is a secret. This is this guy. So this guy is magnetic. That's cool. Look at my hidden, my little hidden badge. This one's called Shelter. He's in his fallout shelter. He's got the lock, the key, and the heart. This magnet is super strong. You don't really have to worry about these kind of badges falling off because it is secure back there. And so you've got the strong magnet and the Finding Unicorn logo that goes on, boop, just like that. And yeah, I 
Can't believe that I got the hidden. Still kind of in shock over it. So those are the three little freebies that I got with either gift with purchase or with my points. Boom. Okay. Next we have, I'm like absurdly obsessed with these. The Lucky Long Shake Shakers by Choco Teddy. I don't know why. I think they're just the cutest things. So they have six designs, six specials, and two secret editions. Uh, the specials have like this sort of electro shine on them, but they're the same colors. I love all of the colors so much, except for yellow. Please, please no yellow. Also, the secret editions are gold yellows, so I don't want those. I will take any of these. I got two of these because I figured even if I had the worst luck possible and I got a yellow, uh, which would be these, I'm including gold as yellow, uh, I can't get two of them, right? There's no possible way I'm getting two yellows. I have to at least get one of these colors. We got one, two, three. This is the special edition, yellow, because of course. So this comes off. He's so cute. Look how cute they are. They're so cute. Oh, it's so pretty and it's so cute and I'm not going to fill it up. We're going to do that with the next one. Take two. And this time, I can't possibly get two yellows in a row. This definitely has to be a no yellow. And we got one, two, three. This is the orange one. And this is the regular version. The pastel is so cute. Look at that. So here's the difference between the electroplating and the regular version. It's just an extra level of sheen and shine. But even then, like, the dragon is cute either which way. You know what I mean? So, hold on. We are going to open this up very, very carefully. But we are going to close this back up. And this is what it looks like. So you can customize this if you just want it to be a little dice roller. You can take out the foil and the balls. Uh, if you just want the one special dice, you can customize your own little dice. It comes with these stickers that you can put on the sides of the dice. And then there's also... If you want to take this guy off and put the chain on, this is with the chain on. The dragon won't really go on if the chain is on. But that's still cute, dude. These are so cute and underrated and only $9.98. And if you use my code GIA10 on checkout, it's even cheaper. We're going to move on to another shaker. This is the Donkey Soft and Light series. This is the same that brings you the Summer Island La Roro. There are eight kinds plus one secret. And I'm obsessed with the whale and I'm obsessed with the dragon. The secret is a moon rabbit and that's really, really cute. So please any of these. We got one, two, three. The lion. The lion has a very huge head with a little birdie on top. Tiny, tiny body. That's very filled. And it has stars inside. I don't know if you can see that. That's the size of his head. That's the size of his body. He's got little glasses and a little blush. And actual feet. 
that's feet. That is human feet. You can't tell me otherwise. Do you see the size of the stars inside? Look right there. And it's filled with those yellow stars. Okay, round two. This one shakes a lot more, and it's tinier. You got one, two, three. And the shaker, I don't know if you can see it, but it's all opaque, except for a little area in the face, and then you can see they're like round, as opposed to this guy. It's just a very tiny little body that has the shaker, and then this guy, shake test, this is, this is satisfying. Pink and Tender Pig by Donkey, and with that, we're gonna go on to Kokoya. Guys, I have the hidden of this who I still love. She is up there. <laughs> I still love her. But I wanted some of the regular varieties. So we have Cherry Candy. And all of the six regular versions are so cute. Uh, I think my top three would be the Panda Girl, the Bunny, and the Kitty one. One, two, three. Yes. Oh my goodness. So she has really delicate coloring with the yellow and the green plaid. The hair is super, super shiny. The kitties flocked. The details on these little girls. I mean, everything from the expression on her face to, like, the fashion. Can we take a moment for the shoes and the socks? I love it so much. Kitty Candy by Kakoya with their little kitty purse and the kitten, both of which are flocked and gorgeous. Guys, I love this series so much. Look how cute that is. Second one. So we don't want the cherry candy and we don't want kitty candy. Any of the other ones would be good. One, two, three. Yo. The Magic Graduate from the House of Slytherin because the colors. And she is super, super shiny. Super shiny. And the potion that she's holding, it actually shakes. And the size difference is pretty minimal, but this one does feel a little bit heavier and is a little bit wider in terms of the dress. So pretty. And they go together, you guys. They go to the same academy. Boom, boom. Now it's time for the Endless Forest plush. All of the options. The secret is a bat which I'm super into. So I do like the bunny, the owl, and this little lady is Kara, I believe. So those are my top three, but all of them are so good. I don't think that there's a bad option in this one. So I'm super excited about this. One, two, three. <gasps> we got Kara. The purple. Yo. <gasps> She's so pretty. So the tails you can move around. This cape feels so good. It's like a fake pleather. You can move the feet so you can put her in a sitting position. 
the arms move as well. Okay, so she's pretty poseable. So the official story behind these, uh, this series is in an endless forest full of magic, a battle of good and evil kicks off between seven key figures. And there's plushies that are good and plushies that are villains. Kara here, who I can't stop touching, uh, she is evil. She's a villain, which I'm super into. She's so soft. And this really feels amazing and really well done. So you have like the little ears. Look at the stitching. And then for her tail to spread out. Cute. I'm so in love with her. Oh my God, you guys. I'm obsessed with her. And bam. And then her cards. Cute. The way in which she was constructed. The stuffing. That's a really cute card to come with this. The third eye. Yo, this is gorgeous. BJD time. We're going to start with the mermaid because I have opened this before in my channel where we got Shimmer, this little lady right there. And just as a refresher, these are the possible options that you can get Shimmer and Jellyfish. Dawn and Leaf, I forgot her name, and Coral, and, the <laughs> and we'll see. Here we go. Yes. She's gorgeous. She's absolutely gorgeous. One second. I have seen that this one doesn't really like to stay, but we'll see how that works in person. The blue and purple, you guys. Here's the dress. And it comes with the little bralette. Stickers for the bralette. Extra hands with the heart hands. And then... These fins. So we are going to take her out and let her breathe. So this little lady, her name is officially Kang Coral. And look how gorgeous she is, you guys. Her hair goes from this silvery lavender down to this blue. It's an iridescent quality to it. And her tail's this beautiful, beautiful purple. I'm so happy I got the purple one, you guys. We're going to see how it looks like with her dress. Boom. We got a little blush on the chin. That's so cute. I'm obsessed with her. And then this hairband. Yeah, there is no way. What is happening here? I suppose it's supposed to sit on the ears like this. But that's real flimsy. Look at that. That's not going to stay. I think if it was just a little bit smaller, it would have been perfect for her. But either which way, I adore her. So we are going to put her to the back and continue on. To LaRoRo Summer Island. I've opened one in this series, but I need one of the blue ones. So... Wish me a lot of luck, and let's go. Now, I have opened the series before on my channel, but I really adore uh, the LaRoro BJDs. One, two, three! Ooh! Uh, we got the schoolgirl one. Alright, we are going to let her breathe. Look 
look how cute her face is with the pink eyes. And then she also has red bows. That's going to go with her schoolgirl outfit. And she comes with the cutest cat ears and hands and these blue Mary Janes. And just one more thing. Okay. The cat headband is so cute though. Look at the back. The little tail. We're going to put Summer Night to the side and round two. Blue. We are hoping for blue. One, two, three. Ah. Blue. Yes. Oh, I'm so pleased. Clothing. Look how cute that is. Her headband, because she's the sheep. These Mary Janes, same as all of the other ones, just a different color. And so many extra hands. This comes off. And then the plastic comes off here. And I'm going to dress her real quick. Yee! She's so cute. The pastel blue and the white, everything about her is just so delicate and pretty. And this headband, the sheep headband. Oh, she's so pretty. They really did a fantastic job with the series. Yo, I'm so pleased. I forgot to show you her cards. Okay, this, Dress for Paradise. These are the stickers that she comes with. And her card. Okay. The UF doll. This series the is The UF nuts. doll. This is the mini drink oh. series BJD blind box. There are six regular designs and two hiddens to collect. And one. <gasps> yes. Guys. This girl. We got the blue. Because this one is green and this one is blue. This card is sturdy. This is quality cardstock. Extra claps for the joints. Her clothes, everything inside, we're going to let her breathe. Eye chips. The ears. Gloves. Shoes. These are alternate ears. All right. She's eyeless and soulless. Okay, so we have the UF doll head, the putty that came in the bag with the magnet, and then we have the two eye chips. And I am going to essentially... Right, put them in there and then grab some putty and affix it to it. But I'm going to do that off camera. That is good enough for now. Head reattached. I'm going to dress her up. And she is fully assembled. It honestly wasn't that hard. Uh, the eye chips were probably the hardest part. But after that, it was just smooth sailing. And she is gorgeous white to the pastel blue the ears bow attached to this little apron that goes over the dress 
I mean, the quality of this doll, it's so delicate, but it's so well done. And you get the bare hands, the gloves, the shoes, the bare feet, uh, the points of articulation. This stands at about 11 inches. And the best way to end my haul, I think. This was it, you guys. Let me know what your favorites were, what your thoughts are. If you liked any of the items in this video, use GIA10 at checkout at Kika Goods for 10% off. If you like this video, leave me a like, a comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And until I see you next time, take care of yourselves.